Sure enough, Fancy took the bell and went out to find the cat. Come and watch. <laughs> Fancy was brave enough to walk right up to that cat. Hello, I'm Fancy the Mouse. Ah, and I'm Beauregard. Pleased to meet you. You know, Beauregard, I and my friends, Dancy, Clancy, and Chancy, think your beautiful collar will look nicer with something shiny hanging down from it. This bell would look terrific on a pretty collar like yours. Well, yes, it would. Hey, I'll put it on right now. So, the cat happily put the bell on his collar. <laughs> Thank you for being my friend, Fancy. It'll be fun to play with nice mice like you, and Chancy, and Dancy, and Clancy. Fancy belled the cat. But instead of a warning, the bell's jingle let the playful mice know when their new friend, Beauregard the cat, was nearby and ready to play. <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after in the little cottage. The end. <laughs> One little story. bell helped the mice make a new friend. Bell. Hmm. Wait a minute. Stella was ringing a little bell as she read this story the other day. And I think I know where it is. Huh? Be right back. Okay. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> I found it. I have found it. Oh, what? Uh, Stella's bell? Oh, in. Oh, in. The number one! The number one! Ooh. It's from Stella's alarm clock. Now we found the number one and the number seven. But we have so many more books 